Yo right, YouTube, this is a video request from Tarantula Addict. We wanted to see my Therophosa apophysis. So here's an update on it. As you can see it's there on this sphagnum moss. It's getting pretty big. It's only molted with me once or twice I think. Very, very twitchy, very quick spider as well. Uh, I did think it was in pre molt at one point. You can sort of see a bit of a black spot on the abdomen there. But it ate yesterday when I fed on my tarantulas, so obviously not in pre molt. But whenever this thing sheds, it just grows loads. It's just a beast. I'm very, very fond of this one. It's one of my favourites, I think. It's just awesome. I can't wait for it to get huge. But I highly recommend this species. It's so easy to keep. Just as you can see, I keep mine in a Tupperware container, lid, box. Great for spiderlings of this species, I think. Loads of sphagnum moss. Keep it really humid. Substrate very moist. You want to sort of achieve a humidity of about sort of 80 to 90 percent, and when they're shedding. At, the, at least 90% you want it to be really humid because these guys can have problems shedding especially when they get bigger so yeah got a little water bowl in there I spray it every week and uh, and the substrate is nice and moist so humidity is key for these guys to do well absolutely key but other than that very easy to keep I don't find it's a particularly ravenous eater at all it doesn't really seem to eat too hungrily but when it does eat, it, you know, it's, it's pretty cool, but it doesn't always eat. But yeah, that's my apophysis. I'd say it's probably about an inch and a half, two inches. Two inches, actually, at least two inches. I mean, that leg span's pretty big for a spiderling. Anyway, cheers, guys. Any more requests, just send them my way. Thank you.